you're going to want to click on phrase, okay? Broad, exact, and phrase. Phrase, um, you can look it up, you know, explain. Um, actually, I have right here a way to explain it to you real quick. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so if we look here, it says broad match. This is the most primitive form of keyword input. An example would be online PlayStation games. But since it's a broad match, it would also trigger for the following phrases. phrases PlayStation games online. Games online PlayStation. PlayStation online games. Okay, so the problem with this is that often when the words in a particular phrase um, are rearranged, they can become untargeted and mean something completely different. Okay, so we're doing keyword research. We don't want to use broad match. Phrase match. Phrase match is a much more targeted way to, to pinpoint exact phrases that someone might use to search for a particular product. For example, PlayStation Games Online would trigger the following phrases. Buy PlayStation Games Online. Order PlayStation Games Online. Purchase PlayStation Games Online. However, this particular type of targeting can also match for certain undesirable keywords such as free PlayStation Games Online, okay? I'm just showing you guys what, what broad match and phrase, and of course exact, is the exact match. So like you know, the more targeted you are, the higher your conversions will be. For example, buy PlayStation 3 in Texas. Buy PlayStation 3 memory card online. These are exact frame, phrases, okay? We want to go and we want to look at phrase. Not exact, but just phrase. So a dog walking, no. Canvan dog walking, and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go here to global search count and do these by highest searches. Um, so like dog walking jobs. As you see, I can, I've done some keyword research here and I'll explain what all this means. So dog walking jobs. Um, dog walking services, I don't know that I want to try and compete for that um, because I'm afraid it's people looking for dog walking services and not people who are looking to start a dog walking business. However, dog walking business, um, you know, it might be people looking for a business that does dog walking or it might be people looking to start a dog walking business, okay? We got dog walking service volunteer dog walking. Um, these people would probably want to make money by, you know, doing um, um, dog walking instead of just volunteering. We've got dog walking job, 590 searches a month. That's not great, um, but it will work because it's a, the reason why you want to rank for multiple phrases is because, I mean, if you add this up, like if I rank number one for dog walking jobs, that's, you know, almost 10,000 there. Um, dog walking business, that's, you know, almost 7,000 there, so we got 17,000 searches a month. Um, another 1,000 here, that's 18,000 searches. Dog walking job, another almost 600. So, you know, as you see, it's a conglomerate of how many um, searches you get. If you just try and compete for one keyword, you're only going to be able to get X amount of uh, visitors, basically. And, of course, not all of these are going to come to your site, um, but that's the object of the game is to get as many of those people coming to your site, okay? So, dog walking flyers group starting a dog walking business. There's only 390 searches a month for that. Still take that. Um, dog walking business, dog walking business names. These are all pretty um, low searches, but like I said, it, it's a conglomerate. It's all added up here. Dog walking now, dog walking clubs, dog walking business for sale. Those people would probably be good people too. Dog walking pictures, Camden dog walking, dog walking business plan, probably be a good one. Pet sitting and dog walking, dog walking Brooklyn, fetch Hammersmith, dog walking ads, dog walking belts. Okay, once you get under about 100 searches a month, um, it's really not a good idea to um, grab these keywords. If they're really easy to compete for, then go for it. Um, but these are keywords that aren't getting searched for much, so you're not going to get a lot of traffic, okay? Um, but like this, setting up a dog walking business, that's incredibly super targeted. Um, so I definitely want to grab that, even though it only has 91 searches a month, okay? So I'm going to come down through here. I think I'm just going to... Do a little quick look here, dog walking websites, charges, leashes, supplies. Yeah, none of these I'm even going to deal with. So what I'm going to do now is click on filter results. And actually, we'll do hide show results. Hide unchecked. So that gives us these keywords here. These are the keywords um, that I want to rank for. Now, had I not <laughs> already had gone ahead and done some research here, there would have been um, nothing here. You click on it and it'll tell you 
if these things um, will be easy to rank for. If it's a green button, then yeah, easy to rank for. Yellow button, uh, kind of in the middle. Red button, it's too much competition, you don't even want to try it. So, this one, I'm not sure why it's... Um, you can retrieve... Let's see what this does. Okay, this is just showing us, okay, in anchor count, in title count, in URL count. Okay, so we'll, we don't need to worry about that, but I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try and compete for all of these. So I'm going to do export, export all results, click export, and I'm going to save them. Open this up and you can see here's the actual keyword phrase here is the local count global count um, estimate exact match how many searches or I'm sorry exact exact match how many exact matches are out there that means how many websites um, come up in Google f for this exact phrase okay ad cost we don't need to worry about um, and then the SOC, this is just the competition thing. Um, this one was the only one that was, you know, borderline, maybe too competitive. Um, but the rest of these are, will be very easy to compete for. So these are the ones I'm going to um, use to try and get dogwalkingriches.com ranked for. So when someone searches for those keywords, I want my site to be at the top of Google. That's the plan here, okay? So let's talk about the new age hippie the new age hippie is all about um, helping people create an online income to get the freedom in the, the freedom they need in life um, to do what they want to do be it you know work from home and take care of their kids or you know work on the computer and be able to travel the world or you know work on the computer you know a few hours a day and be able to do volunteer work it's all about funding your passion okay so I need to do some keyword research for that. So I'm going to come back to Micro Niche Finder here, click close, go back to the home page, and we're going to do a new search. So the first search I want to do here is internet income. And you got to spell it right, income, there we go. Click search. Again, it'll take just a few seconds to get this all together. While it's doing that, let's let's say I'm not real sure what keywords I want my site to rank for is what you can do is you can look at your competition um, like um, a lot of things we're going to be talking about here is like lifestyle design so maybe I'll search for lifestyle design and here I'm seeing claycollins.com forward slash lifestyle design four hour week four hour week resources rock style life rock star lifestyle design um, what is lifestyle design all these things are related to lifestyle design and I'll show you um, a way to figure out um, what kind of keywords to search for there. I'm going to actually close this one out. Yes. Okay, so if we look here at phrase 2010 Internet Income Training Conference, let's go here and do global search count so we can get the big ones at the top here. We've got Internet Income that would be great to rank for. Probably it's going to be very, very competitive. Um, if I, if, and you don't have to do the get SOC um, rule of thumb here. Anything um, below about 200,000, 100,000 will be pretty easy to rank for, okay? So you can also tell that by this number here. Internet income system would be another one I want to look at. So this one's at 286,000. Probably wouldn't be too hard to rank for, um, but it's going to be it's going to be harder than the easy ones, okay? Um, Internet income system, and then I've got um, Robert Allen Internet income, multiple streams of income. Um, if I look at this and see get exact phrase count, I can take a look here, and we've got streams of internet income. That's definitely one I could look at. Internet income academy. But as you see, the search results are going down here, or the, how many searches are coming.